So I was selected to play Marvel Rhino in Spider-Man in the Monsters of Manhattan throughout in 2021. And I thought I would narrate a brief slideshow with some photos I had from filming it on set. And here I am with Brandon Mello, who played Spider-Man, played an amazing Spider-Man, by the way. And equally impressive, he also helped produce this project. So in this clip right here, you will see it's filmed under the Brooklyn Bridge. And when the finished version is all completed, you'll have CGI across the hands and mouth with full webbing. And he will leap off that curb and sail across the Brooklyn Bridge and buildings. So it's going to be very impressive when this whole project is completed. Endless amounts of hard work by everybody involved. I was very impressed. And thank you again, guys, for the selection. It was very, very special to me when I talked to these guys on the phone. They said, we only want one actor to be our rhino. And it's you. And that went a long way with me. We had some fun on set here. It's always great when the villain gets the kick the crap <laughs> out of Spider-Man. My kids got a kick out of that. So there I am behind the scenes. That's my version of Aleski Setsevich, a.k.a. Rhino, inspired right here by Paul Giamatti from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I want to personally thank Paul Giamatti, amazing actor. He was the sole inspiration behind my version of Rhino. So thank you, Paul. And again, guys, I'm so honored to have been selected as Rhino in this project. And just watching how hard you guys worked, it's going to be great to be part of such an amazing project when it's all done. Right here with Alex, another guy who helped produce the project, graduate of Harvard University. Very, very impressive. Obviously, COVID-19, pandemic, mass Social distancing made it a lot more of a challenge, but we seem to all get it done. There I am behind the scenes. A little more intense version of Rhino, for sure. Right here, that's the scene, that's the money scene driving, you know, with the Russian accent. Uh, villain personified, et cetera, et cetera. Makeup, very important on set. Makeup artist was really, really awesome. She's the one who put the, the Bob wire Tattoo across my forehead. She actually freehanded it. Very, very impressed by that when I saw it. Again, right here, it's a more intense version of Rhino for sure. People often ask me my most inspirational actors in the business. Top two, tie for two, Denzel. Total package and Christian Bale for his roles and how he immersed himself in his characters. is at the top, both at the top of the game. And in life, it's definitely Steve Harvey. Thank you, Steve Harvey. If it wasn't for Steve Harvey, I probably would have quit as far as guys go. I see his struggle and his story, and it kept me going. And Vinny Pazienza, the boxer, came back from a broken neck to find strength, courage, and inspiration. So thank you, Vinny, for that. There's my buddy, my grandfather, who passed away. At the end, about a week before he passed, he said to me, what do you want to do in life? And I said, I want to be a good actor. And my number one goal is to be selected as Rhino on the silver screen and fulfill my promise to him. Nice guys.